So let's talk about socializing children for a moment. Socializing children. This is a thing that homeschoolers run into regularly, and we certainly did as we uh, homeschooled. But even when I taught in high school and when I was on the board of a, a private uh, school that we were uh, founding, getting started, all of this is always an issue. Because on one hand, if you socialize them with the wrong people, like with hoodlums or people that are at their same level of immaturity, then they drag home a bunch of socialization junk that's not helpful to anyone. On the other hand, if you isolate a child and you develop in them a being socially maladjusted, where they don't know what to wear or how to speak, or in their shyness they can't say hello and stick their hand out, or, or in their... Uh, uh, hyperaction, they're so busy jabbering they don't know how to listen. Well, obviously, we want to socialize our kids properly, which means we want to prepare them for what world? The adult world. As Jody and I were talking about it, uh, you know, she brought up things that uh, I think are smart, which are there are lots of ways to socialize kids. There's youth groups, and there's sporting programs you can get into, and there are, our kids have been to scouting programs, and there are all kinds of things you can do to get them around other people. However, what we found is as we get them, them around different age groups, different individuals at different levels of intellect or skill or even size, they, they learn how to adapt to all of them because we're trying to raise healthy adults and happy adults. She also pointed out that uh, it is uh, important to recognize how often uh, kids are misaligned because a lot of times what you have is a indecision on the parent's part about the kind of children or people that you want your kids around. We have a little saying which is, um, you'll never be like the people you don't hang around. Well, that turns out to be dead right. If you don't hang around drug dealers, you're not like them. If you don't hang around uh, decent people, you tend not to be like them. There's an influence people have on one another. So when you think about socialization, it's, it's silly. Because most of us look at a lot of public schools out there, and there are groups within those public schools we don't want our kids socializing with, do we? But it can be true of a youth group, and it can be true of a neighborhood. This is why kids have been entrusted to parents and why socialization means you're teaching your child how to socialize with a variety of people. If you don't have adults come to your home and have your kids come in and say hi and talk with them for a minute, you're missing that opportunity to socialize them. They don't know how to go down the street, knock on a door and meet a new neighbor. They're not learning how to uh, be socially or sociably responsible. This is sort of a common sense thing, but if you're a homeschooler, uh, don't worry about such a lame argument. And if you are uh, not a homeschooler, uh, then you need to be concerned about socializing your child in the wrong way. This is something for all parents to tune into. Take care.